Hey YouTube, Kier Twig here, bringing you my Gusto deck profile for March 2012. I've been testing this deck out a lot on Dual Network, and uh, just completed the deck today, um, physical version, so I thought I'd go through the deck, show you what it's made of. It's a really fun deck, and it also has an interesting um, style of play, so after I show you what's in the deck, I'll also show you a few moves of it. So the first cards you use, you use three... Winda Priestess of Gusto. Um, all the Gusto's effects um, have to do with the graveyard, and this deck does a lot of recycling as well. Her effect is when this card is destroyed by battle with an opponent's monster, uh, you can send it when it's sent to the graveyard. You can special summon one Gusto tuner from your deck. Um, so that's the one thing about this deck that you have to worry about, is making sure all these cards get sent to the graveyard. If your opponent figures out a way to make keep that from happening this deck is in a lot of trouble I also run three Gusto Guldo um, his effect is when this card is sent from the field to the graveyard you can special summon one level two or lower Gusto monster from your deck so for example you can special summon a Winda and with her effect you can get a tuner so we pretty much have a flip-flop between these two so if he gets destroyed you can special summon the Winda and if she gets destroyed you can special summon the Guldo and that's the good thing about these cards, they interloop a lot, so you can build up a wall against your opponent um, when they have uh, a lot of attacks coming at you. I also run three Gusto Egal. Egal and Guldo are both tuners. Um, Egal's effect is when he's destroyed by battle and sent to the graveyard, you can special summon one non-tuner level 4 lower Gusto monster from your deck. So pretty much, with his effect, you can special summon the Winda. The only card you can't get out that I've mentioned so far is the Guldo, but you can use the Guldo to special summon the Egal, so those cards also run together. Um, another card you can get out with the Egal, you can get out, I run three of them, three Cam, Serenity of Gusto. Her effect does not involve um, special summoning from the graveyard. With her effect, pretty much, you want to get her out when your graveyard is full of other monsters like Guldo or Winda or Gaul. Her effect is you can send two Gusto monsters from your graveyard to the deck, shuffle, and then draw one card. So she's pretty much your recycle, um, pretty much a monster pot of avarice, and she has 1700 attack as well. And she's also a level 4 non-tuner monster, so she t uh, synchro summons very well with Gaul and Guldo. Another card you can special summon with um, Egal is I run three Gusto Thunbolt. Uh, he is a level four non-tuner, and his effect is when this card is destroyed by battle and sent to the graveyard, at the end of the battle phase, you can remove from play one Gusto monster in your graveyard to special summon one psychic type monster with 1500 or less defense from your deck. And I pretty much use his effect to special summon out the heavy hitter of the deck, Two Rees Whirlwind of Gusto. She is pretty much amazing. This is the only card right now that I run in this deck that is not released yet in Hidden Arsenal. She'll be coming out this summer in Hidden Arsenal 6, but you need to run her. Her effect is amazing. Uh, her effect is once per turn, you can return one card from your hand to the bottom of the deck, target one monster your opponent controls, and one face-up mon Gusto monster you control, switch control both those monsters. So pretty much, if you use her with Thunbolt, special summon her, Next turn, let's say you have a Gusto monster in your hand, like Guldo or Egal. You pretty much have her on the field, normal summon the Egal, send one card from your hand to the bottom of your deck, okay, and switch with the Egal um, with one of your opponent's monsters. Um, let's say it's a heavy attack, like let's say they have a Catastor or a Librarian. You pretty much have permanent use of that monster, that monster is yours. During the battle phase, you can attack the Agal, or let's say you switch control of a Guldo or a Thunbolt, and the best thing is, since they're sent to your graveyard, you get that card's effect. The only card I recommend not switching uh, is Winda. The only reason Winda's effect, the, your opponent has to attack Winda itself for you to gain the effect, but um, with all three of the other Gusto Beast effects, it's pretty much good. And then let's say your opponent has a higher attacking monster than the Rees. You can switch Rees herself and attack it. The only thing you want to make sure, you want to make sure if you're going to switch the Rees out, 
that you destroy it before the end phase, because if you don't, your opponent will just reuse the effect of Reeves themselves and switch the control of the monsters back over to you. That's the one thing you want to make sure of when you're using Reeves. That's it for the Gusto monsters in the deck. I just run a few other Psychic monsters. I run one Psychic Jumper. It's pretty much the same effect of Reeves. You just give up 1,000 life points to switch control of a Psychic monster besides Psychic Jumper, and it's also a tuner. I run one Serene Psychic Witch. The reason I run her, I like her effect. She's a level 3 non-tuner, and when this card is destroyed and sent to the graveyard, you can uh, remove from play one Psychic Monster from your deck with less than 2,000 attack, which is Reese. And during the next standby phase, you can Special Summon it. I like using her, because the one problem with Thune Bolt, it has to be destroyed by battle. Um, but with Serene Psychic Witch, it's just destroyed. So if your opponent uses like Dark Hole, you can still get her effect off. And I also run one Kerbons. Uh, his effect pay 800 life points uh, just to negate an attack that targets this. Pretty much use him to save until you have other monsters to use for Synchro Summons. That's all for the monsters. We'll move on to spells. I run two emergency teleports. This card was recently put to semi-limited on the ban list, so I pretty much am happy. It really helped the deck out to run two of these. The effect, you can special summon one level three or lower psychic type monster from your hand or deck, and during the end phase, remove it from play. Um, with this deck, you can pretty much get out any psychic monster. The only, um, the only ones you can't get out are Rees, and yeah, that's pretty much, and all any of the beast monsters, because the beast monsters are beasts, like I said, not psychics, but you can pretty much get out Winda, Serene Psychic Witch, uh, Krabans, and Psychic Jumper. It's still a big variety of cards to get out. And with, psychic, with Emergency Teleport, you're pretty much either going to Synchro Summon or you can even use that monster to tribute for a Reese. Another card I use, I use one Miracle Synchro Fusion. This is to pretty much, after you use your Synchro Monsters, uh, if they're all in your graveyard, you have no other options to fuse into Ultimate Axon Kicker, but we'll get to him in a little bit. And another good effect of this card is, let's say you it's early in the game and you don't have a Synchro Summon possibility, uh, fusion, I mean. Set this card on the field, and if your opponent uses like Mystical Space Typhoon and it destroys, and it gets destroyed, you can draw one card from that effect. So that's why I like that for a little extra draw power. I run one Foolish Burial just to get some support in the graveyard. One Monster Reborn. One Pot of Avarice. You are, you have so many monsters in the graveyard with this deck. Use this. You can pretty much use this within the first couple turns of the game. Recycle them back to your deck and use their effects all over again. I also use one Heavy Storm, two Mystical Space Typhoons, pretty much because you have to make sure your opponent is going to be attacking your monsters and not destroying them in any other way. And you're always going to want to make sure to set these monsters. If you put them in face-up attack, they'll have risk of Torrential. Uh, a lot of these are too weak for uh, Bottomless and all that, but just safety precautions. One Smashing Ground, one Dark Hole. That's it for the spells. We'll move on to Traps. Traps are pretty basic. Two dimensional prisons, two bottomless trap hole, one compulse, one mere force, and the solemn brigade. One solemn judgment and two solemn warnings. And I also run one dark bribe. So yeah, that's it for the main deck. Uh, 41 cards total. Let's move on to the extra deck. I run one digusto guldos. Her effect, she's a level 5, you need one tuner and one non-tuner gusto monster. You can shuffle two gusto monsters from your graveyard back into the deck, select one face-up monster your opponent controls and destroy it. She's really good to get around Cataster. Her and Cataster have the same attack, but if this goes up against Cataster, it's going to lose. So use her effect to get that out of the way. I also run one Digusto Egals. It's a level 7, uh, same costs like um, Digusto Guldos. You shuffle two... Gusto monsters, actually one wind monster from your graveyard, so it doesn't have to be a gusto. Of course, all the gustos are wind monsters. From your graveyard, select one face down card your opponent controls and destroy it, but it has to be at the end phase. It's the only flaw about that one. Next, the best card of the deck. Um, this is another one that's going to be released in, in Arsenal 6, but you don't necessarily need her to make this deck uh, competitive. One Digusto Freeze, she's a level 6. So to pretty much get her out, you can fuse any level 2 tuner you have in the deck with, um, like, say, Psychic Jumper and Cam Serenia Gusto. And her effect is this card cannot be destroyed by battle. 
Um, and all your opponent takes all the battle damage from any Gusto monsters that attack. So let's say you have a Digusto a Gaul in the field. Attack your opponent's monster with a Gaul. It destroys it. Your opponent takes the damage, and you also get a Gaul's effect. And his other effect is you can add one Gusto monster from your graveyard to your hand when this card is Synchro Summon. And just a little more extra Psychic support, I run one Psychic Life Transfer, one Magical Android, one Psychic Nightmare, um, we'll get to the uh, Cataster in a second, one Hyper Psychic Blaster, and just a Cataster for a little extra support in case you need to get over some of your opponent's higher uh, level attack monsters. And last but not least, I run, like I said, the Ultimate Axon Kicker. With this, you need one Psychic Synchro and one non-Psychic Monster. And you can use the Miracle Synchro Fusion, like I said, to Synchro into from the graveyard. So any Psychic Monster that you use plus another norm effect Psychic Monster, like Winda, remove these cards from play to get him out on the field. He has three amazing effects. One, um, the Piercing Effect. And every time he destroys a monster, you gain life points equal to that monster's attack. So it's pretty much a higher up Thought Ruler Archfiend. The only thing good about him, he can't be destroyed by card effects. So let's say you want a dark hole of the field. He'll still be able to survive the hit. And that's pretty much it. Uh, the deck is still in testing, but it's a lot of fun. I've been able to get over a lot of decks, like I said. Hope you guys try it out. Like I said, it's a lot of fun. And that's it for the deck profile. Please like and subscribe, and Cure Twig out.